What's going on guys, Prolific Reviews here with a review of the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 36 Runs. A very, very nice running shoe by Nike, fresh out of the box. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So guys, this specific colour is Crimson Laser. Um, I did intentionally buy this with uh, the idea that it would be a red colour. It does appear to be a more of an orangey pinky colour. Um, nonetheless, it's still a very, very lovely colour. The retail price of this shoe is around about £105, but there are places on the website where you can get them a little bit cheaper than that. I personally managed to get mine for £71. Uh, there was a big discount upon another discount, um, but yeah, that was a good steal for me to be able to get these shoes for such a cheap price. So looking at the shoe here, you can see that it has got a breathable upper mesh. That's for the um, the arches and also for the general foot itself. You can see on the lateral aspect of the shoe at the back here that there is this Nike Zoom logo. And also on the inside of the shoe here, it has a little bit of writing telling you a bit about the shoe. It has the Cush Lon ST form, which provides firm, responsive cushioning. And it is brand new, so that cushion should be absolutely spot on. Um, it's quite a nice design on the bottom. You can see it's got quite a bit of grip. Not too much, as it is a road shoe. You don't need too much, but it's, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. You may notice that on the tongue of this Pegasus 36, it's not a big tongue, and that's the change that they made from the Pegasus 35s, where it was a bit of an irritating, thicker tongue. This year we have a smaller, thinner tongue. Um, so I'm presuming that's to reduce the irritation on the top of the foot. Um, but also, again, with the, with the thin tongue, it does make it look a bit more fashionable. Looks like it's more of a, a slip-on shoe, which is really nice. I like that. The total weight of the shoe comes in around about 272 grams. It's relatively light, but it's not a racing shoe, so it's not overly light. Looking at the flexibility of the shoe, it's not an overly flexible shoe. It does have some restriction, but that's good because it is a road shoe and needs some support. Um, now there is a heel drop here, and it is about 10 millimeters of heel drop, which is traditional. So if you have bad Achilles, this is a good shoe to get because it's over the standard size slightly. Um, anyone with who lands a mid four foot, um, you may be looking at trying to get a shoe that's more seven millimeters. Um, they tend to be more racing shoes, but this is a road shoe, so they have a bit more of a heel drop. Looking inside the shoe, you can see that this has this nice logo striping through the middle of the shoe. It is quite a soft feel. A bit scratchy, but it is very, very nice on the foot. I have had many of Pegasus 36 shoes in the past. My previous ones are green, and they've done over 800 miles, I believe. Um, I will post a picture of those at the end of the video so you can see what they look like after 800 miles of wear and tear. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to test these bad boys out on the roads. Uh, I've got my Sunday run today, and I will let you know how they do on that run when I get back. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, you can see that there is wear and tear on the left corner of my old shoe and also in the middle forefoot where you plant your foot. This is simply because I overpronate slightly and you do get a lot of wear and tear when running 60 miles a week. Looking at the top of the shoe, we can't really see much difference between them other than one is muddy and one is not. I do live in the hills, so that's quite an expected thing. Looking at the inside line of the shoe, you can see that it has been battered and bruised and there is an uplift at the toe edge. This is simply because you are running on your toes and it does crease at the bottom. So guys, I've just come back from my run, 16 miles, testing out these bad boys. Seems to have picked up a little bit of grit and mud on the way, but that's expected. Obviously, you've got these little grooves here. Um, the shoe itself was absolutely superb. It was buoyant, it was bouncy, it was great. The only issue I had at the very, very start was at this point here and it rubbed on my right ankle, but that was the very only issue that I've potentially had with the shoe. One thing I do remember from my previous green shoe is that when it was raining for the first couple of runs, the colour did leak onto the white sock. So if you are going to wear these shoes when it's going to be raining, try to avoid white socks because it can leak the colour and the dye onto the sock. But in this run, I had none of that problem. 
Overall, guys, I can't recommend this shoe highly enough. It's got such a good range from short distance to long distance. I wouldn't recommend it for the marathon, however, simply because you do need a bit more cushioning towards the latter miles when your legs do get tired. But other than that, this is a great training shoe. I'm a middle distance runner and I love this shoe and I can't recommend it highly enough. So guys, that concludes my review of the Pegasus 36 running trainer. I've attached my Strava profile and the run that I did in them, just so that you can check it out. If you want to follow me on Strava, then that's absolutely fine by me. And if you want to check out my personal bests, I've scattered them around the screen for you to take a look at. And also do not forget to press that subscribe button at the top of the page. It really does help me out. And if you could give me a comment or a like so I can improve the next video, that'd be really, really helpful.